Hello everybody, it's me, Dan, and Nathaniel. And I don't know if you can see, but we have a smorgasbord of things that we're going to try today. We've been saving up for this one it's been a long time. So we're going to start with this soda from La France. Lemon elderflower. We're going to start off with that. All of our stuff has this citrus motif to that. I was watching a video the other day of El Pacino talking about his rolls. They had a bottle of water similar to the bottle was similar to this and you could tell he never took a sip because the water level in the bottle never went down and the water level in his glass never went down mm, so what do you think of that smell not interesting. not overly lemonly but floral mm. it's not bad not at all what I was expecting. Mm. Uh, I taste that elderflower now. It's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's definitely not for everyone. It is very bubbly. Would be refreshing on a hot day like today. Yeah. Or after a long walk. Or if you're just sitting around discussing with friends things <laughs> and we're going to try these honeycomb Kit Kats imported from the UK now we've tried numerous British candies before including Nestle Kit Kats and they were some were good some were not Honeycomb. Honeycomb should be very uh I think it's gonna have like a honey flavor. You think? I would I would say so. Hmm. Yeah, I could not have guessed. <laughs> should be interesting. It smells like honey right off the bat. Mm. You don't break your kick cats? No. Not bad. Mm. I don't taste the honey though. Do you? You gotta want to sell on the first bite, but. Mm. Now we're gonna have some more Kit Kats. Actually, we'll open one package. These are Hershey Kit Kats, made by Hershey, under license of Nestle. And these are key lime pie. Interesting flavor. Lime, I think, would have been good enough. But they went the extra mile and went key lime pie. Now, limes are indigenous to Polynesia. And they were spread over by sailors and travelers. In fact, early on, especially in the age of Conquest, as they call it, or exploration. Uh, sailors used to suck on lemons, so they wouldn't get scurvy. Because if they got scurvy, they'd have to come back from sea. So if they were able to see at sea longer, especially uh, navy ships, it was an advantage. But the British would suck on limes. And that's how they got the British sailors got the name Limey. It really feels like a key lime pie. And these a little more lime flavor. Yeah. At least we won't get scurvy now. Mm. And now we're going to 
try some Japanese sodas. We picked some out. I got watermelon. Mm. Watermelon. Melon. And he picked out grape. Great. Bad boy up. Start. Now with these you have to pop the cap. Which is an art in and of itself. <laughs> then you put the plastic here and you press. And that activates the soda. <laughs> And you get this little round thing that floats there. So like you press it down on it? Or you yeah. press up on it? Oh, with that, yeah. With that. And then you press down on it. Yep. I do not have very, very like, dirty strong. Here, I'll do it. No, 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 no. this is going to be funny. I, I got it, I, I got it, I promise. Mm -hmm. I do not have... Be fine. I should have worn my Godzilla shirt for this. Oh yeah, you should have. Mm. Well, you screwed up. I didn't screw up. Taste that watermelon though. Smell it. We haven't even tasted it yet. Yeah. Well, let's smell it. This is just regular melon? You got this regular melon. Hmm. Tastes a little like honeydew. Yeah. Probably extract the honey and put it into the cake. Yeah. Try the watermelon. Good thing we're doing Your this outside. Right, that's a strong watermelon. Oh, right. that, that punches. Mm. It's more watermelon in the smell than there is in the taste. Yeah. I was initially worried at first. Usually when there's a strong watermelon, it's going to be awful. But you know in Japan they have square watermelons? No, I didn't. Yeah, they grow them in uh, containers to make them square so they can fit in the refrigerator easier. Mm. It's a neat trick. Yeah, Japan is limited on space. I mean, it is an island. Do oh. mm. you need so help with the grape? No, I don't. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> and I do recommend drinking these sodas from a glass. Bringing it from the bottle can be difficult because of the shape of the neck, which looks a little like an owl. An owl? Got the two eyes. Oh, yeah. I guess it's like finger holes. I don't know. So how do you get this part out? Okay, so you push it with the finger and it should snap off. Yep. Okay. And then you push down. Do you need one hand or do you need both? Well, I mean, I did it. Yep. All right. Yeah, is that artificial grape? Yeah. Firstly, I didn't taste a lot of grape. No. But I do like the watermelon. Yeah. I'm gonna have more of that. Alright, so that's all we have for today. Mm. Um, you have anything to add? No. Cheers. <laughs>